Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on C17 STL, the standard template library. In this particular video series, we are trying to understand the internal workings of STL using Lego blocks. So, in this particular video, we will talk about what are different types of STL containers and what are container adapters. So, in here, I have depicted the Lego blocks as STL containers, container adapters, as well as data. So there are predominantly two types of STL container. One is called sequence container, another is called associative container. Now what is the difference between these two? So let's first talk about sequence containers. So what are sequence containers? So if I insert a data called white in the sequence container, then yellow, then purple, then red, what sequence container guarantees us is that the data will be stored in the same order as it was inserted white, yellow, purple, red. It will not change the insertion sequence of the data. That's why it is called a sequence container. Some of the sequence containers are arrays, vector, dq, list and forward list. Now let's talk about associative container. So if you insert data yellow, pink, white, and red. The associative containers doesn't guarantee the insertion sequence. No matter under what sequence you have inserted the data, the end result can be anything. Any data can be stored anywhere based on different different characteristics. That's the reason it is called associative container where it doesn't guarantee the insertion sequence. Now the storage of data is determined by two ways because there are two major data structures that are being used in associative container. One is binary search tree and the variations of it like red black tree and another is the hash table. Now there are two types of associative containers. One is called map, multimap, set and multiset. Another is an uh, unordered version of it which is called unordered map, unordered multimap, unordered set and unordered multiset. Now what is the difference between these two types of data? So, Map, multimap, set and multiset are storing data in a way where it is easy to retrieve the data. That means the data is stored in a sorted way and they use variation of different kind of binary search tree, predominantly red black trees to store the data. While the unordered version of it store the data as a hash table. So that's the difference between unordered and normal map and sets. So this was about sequence container and associative containers. Now what are container adapters? You must have heard about something called stack queues or priority queue as a container adapter. Why it is called container adapter? This is very important because you know what? It's very easy to implement stack queue and priority queue data structure. This is well known data structure. What it has to do with the container? It is called container adapter because the underlying storage for stack queues or priority queues can be changed to any other container. For example, by default in stack, it is using a sequence container called DQ, but it's very much possible to replace the DQ with a vector or an array. So you must be aware of some limitations because uh, like vector doesn't allow push front. So Q cannot be implemented in vector, but stack can be implemented in vector, list, DQ, etc. That's the reason these data structure stack, queues and priority queues are called container adapters. You can change the data storage that is the container. And in these container adapters, of course, we use sequence container because for stack, queue and priority queue, you don't want to use associative container to store data in sorted way or in a hash table, undefined order, because stack, queues and priority queues demand some integrity of data in the way it is inserted. So that's all about different type of containers and container adapters using Lego blocks. I hope I was able to explain you in the easiest possible way. Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe. And please, please, please do not forget to write some comment if you have any. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching.